What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be doing a training guide and a bit of a breakdown and review on these perfect introduction nominating contract cards, right? So before we start, if you are new to the game, you will notice that these have got a, a new way of signing them uh, other than coins or GP. So we're just going to show you quickly when you go back out here and you go into the match pass, you get you can clear this match pass um, very, very simply by playing any match. You can play anything at all. Friend match, co-op, it doesn't matter. Once you start clearing this match pass here, the regular edition one of it is free. You actually get to level 15 on this. And once you play 15 matches, you will unlock a five-star nominating contract, which means you can sign any of these bad boys here, okay? So that's just one thing to get out of the way. If you are a newcomer, I know there's a lot of newcomers asking that question, how to get it. So when we go back in here to take a look, I'm only going to focus on maybe three or four of the top guys I think are worth it here. If you are a newcomer and you have nobody in your squad, obviously all of these are going to be an upgrade to your squad. But there is only two, three, or there's only, there's no uh, four star or three stars and there's only three or four four stars. So I have a lot of three star nominated contracts. You can see up there in the, in the box on the top right hand side of the screen. I have one five star and I have three four stars. So uh, personally for me, I probably would, you know, probably sit out a lot of these because I have them all. But if I'm playing on my road to glory or if you're a newcomer and you've got a bad squad, you don't have great players. There are some good players in this, but I do think it is a bit of a disappointing selection for the nominating contracts. Now, we do have a couple of highlight players, which we will get into in a second, um, such as Timber. We are going to go over to eFootballDB as well, which looks and simulates what the cards can look like when we actually train them up. So this is just an example of how you would train Timber up. He's a fairly average center midfielder, box to box. He's got good um, player skills, as you see there, double touch, sliding tackle, true passing, one touch pass is obviously always good for a box to box center midfielder and he's quite good he's quite mobile he can play multiple kind of ways um he can play right back as well he is the younger brother of timber from ajax as well so yeah these two boys are quite decent uh, the timber brothers as i call them um sounds like a i don't know like a place that sells wood or something but anyway balance is good stamina is good acceleration is good and ball control tight possession low pass they're the stats that you really need to have as your key uh, stats with a center midfielder okay so for me for a four star if you're looking for a dominant box to box and you have a four star line around or you get it as part of the match pass i think he's quite decent then we have this guy sergio Oliveira. um again he's just too out he's he's not in my opinion even though he's got good player skills and you might make use of those he's just a little bit too slow for me and how i'd like to play even when you train him up you can see that 60 speed 60 acceleration as a box to box Look, speed is a very decisive one at the moment because obviously with the way that the speed works in the game, it is kind of balanced that you know, you're not going to be able to not catch up players um, when you're in a direct sprint with them. The acceleration more kind of comes into it when you get the ball and you do a double touch or you you know you burst away and that initial like second or two seconds where you have the space in front of the opposition especially with strikers like Mbappe um you know but defenders and center midfielders don't really need that speed <clears throat> so this guy is a bit of a disappointment unless you are just a pure passer this guy is more kind of like an orchestrator even though he's down as a box to box so for me if I'm training him up I'm just training his passing but yeah I probably wouldn't uh, probably wouldn't go for him because he is a five star as well and he's a quite poor five-star nominating contract compared to the rest on here. We've also got Ito, who we're going to have a look at. Ito is a rapid fast. I have his legend card, and it's really good. Um, he also has double touch. He's got super sub, which can bring him uh, on in the in the in the second half. And he'll be a beast for you on wavering form as well as always good. And he's on B rating this week. I like his player skills. I like the fact that he's got pinpoint crossing, and he's also got early crosser. He can play right mid or right wing. If we're training him up, I'd either go two routes, right? I'd either go with you know max out the dribbling to get that to eighty eight dribbling with ninety speed, ninety two acceleration, ten into dribbling. 11 dexterity 6 into lower body or else if you're not that much of a dribbler i would probably boost up the passing a little bit um and just hope that he can actually you know get the, the lofted passes in with the with the rest of his player skills but yeah i would definitely just use him as a kind of a speed demon um to bring him on that was kind of where i'd go with him i think that's probably the best route bring him on as a super sub right winger um if you were looking at somebody like that i think that's probably the best way to go we also have Highland here. Highland, I think, uh, is how you pronounce his name. This guy has got um, a lot of talent, a lot of skills, and he's an interesting card, right? Because we're going to take a look at him in a little bit more detail. 
He doesn't have amazing player skills. He is down as a goal poacher. When we go over and we have a look at him here, you can see that I'm kind of torn into how I train him, right? So with this, with 11 points left to go, we still have um, a lot of nice stats here, such as offensive awareness and finishing. So once you get him to this kind of part, we've 13 into dexterity and you've got 11 points left, I would probably make the decision of how much... Uh, you know what type of player that you are right i personally find that 85 uh finishing is more than enough for me when i'm finishing chances now some of you that watch me play will say i need it higher but um <laughs> it's 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 more than enough for me because i'm able to score with collar and he's only got 80 finishing or whatever um with the way that they've kind of changed the finishing a slight little bit once you're in front of goal it's you know pick your pick your sl slot and slot at home um so once you get to this position with 90 acceleration and 87 offensive awareness 85 finishing if you struggle to score a lot of goals you can boost that up to um go to 88 finishing and then you'll have one more into dexterity to have 88 offensive awareness 88 finishing and 91 acceleration if you're comfortable enough with scoring a lot of goals and you don't really struggle in front of goal i would either pop this into one more um into dexterity to get the balance up to 80 so you'll have 80 balance 89 defensive awareness and 92 acceleration and then you can pop one more on to finishing or else you can pop it on to dribbling depending on how you want to tie possession he's a good card he's a fairly decent card um he's kind of an all-rounder and i definitely think with that acceleration and as a goal poacher he'll be an interesting card to have so yeah i mean as a as a player that's only going to be <coughs> a five-star player um for a nominated contract you can get for free he might be worth having a pop at we've also got schmeichel who's down i won't spend too much time on him he's an average enough goalkeeper he does have fairly okay stats um he can go fairly high but yeah for me i i don't think i'm going to be replacing my main squad that is how i would train him seven eight ten into the stats if i was going to be training him up and don't be afraid to train the players um you know and test them out you can also you can always reset the progression points you can't get back to trainers but you can always get back and uh, train them in a different way right now kind of going into the main guys here right we're going to just take a look at uh mendez here who i don't recommend even though he's got uh, some good um some good stuff going on in his card and he's a rating i don't really recommend him um if you're looking for a prolific winger he's too slow just trust me on that and i also don't recommend veratu as well this guy's on a form he's a box to box but again he's just he's just too clunky lads to use in my opinion and especially if you're looking at a four star contract they are kind of valuable enough if they add new players for the four star so the real ones that i'm looking at here are a kanji who's probably one of the picks of them this guy's a monster uh he's got blocker he's got interception he's got pretty much everything that you could want on a center back and you can train him up in multiple different ways as well so if i'm him if i'm training him i'm maxing out defending that's where i'm going you're still going to get 80 speed don't worry too much about acceleration even though we're going to get that to 68 um we don't need to worry about that too much this guy is just going to be sitting in the middle of our defense and being kind of like the central point there as our, our destroyer as part of a 352 or a 442 he's got every player skill that you could possibly want um for a defender heading long throw uh man marking interception blocker air superiority and acrobatic clearance the only thing he doesn't have i think is slide and tackle uh which you can give him of course you can give all these cards um you know additional skills if you want to but yeah he's a monster look at the skills lads look at the stats he goes up to 98 aggression which is huge if you think that 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 defensive stats are too high and you want to boost up the you know the speed a little bit you can go with that if you want to or else you can just go with the speed if you want to max out the speed at 84 or else if you want to just turn him into a colossus at the back you can pump up that a little bit as well and get his jump even though he's fairly tall you can get his jump up to 88 so there's multiple versions of him there that you can have um it depends on how you want to play him i would probably max out uh you know i would probably like relax with this with the speed and the uh, uh stamina and that because you don't really need it and max out his defending capabilities because look if you try him like this and he doesn't work for you find he's too slow you can also you know reset the progression we've also got a molina or molina this guy is a very good player as well when we max him out we can train him in multiple different ways i will say right if you're training him you need to make a decision very early whether you want to go defensive um which i don't think you should or you want to keep him kind of like uh, an attack and offensive fullback which i think is where his main skills lie you can get all the stats pretty much into the 80s you can get his passing low long passing into the 80s and you can still get 80 aggression and tackling that's how i would train him for any play style we also have um a gakpo i know a lot of people are talking about him same kind of thing with gakpo if you're using him he can play center forward right if you are using him as a center forward i would probably build him like this 
with eight points left into shooting and pop them in to get 85 finishing if you're using him as a winger i would leave that at maybe 80 if you cut in and shoot a lot or i'd leave it at nothing if you don't shoot a lot um and i would just turn him into a complete um a complete uh speed freak you know so i would just turn up his dribbling to get the dribbling to 88 and then i would probably pump up his dexterity to get that a little bit higher and then his speed a little bit higher as well if you just want pure speed so that's multiple ways to train him as well depending on what position that you want the only thing is if you play him center forward you will lose out in his play style and then last but not least we have got kim uh here who i think is probably the pick of him right he's huge he's tall he's strong he's very very physical a lot of people are talking about him I genuinely think he's one of the best players on this. Uh, him and Gakpo are probably the two picks of them, depending on your preference for where you need it. He's got blocker, interception, area superiority, sliding tackle, unwavering form. He's also got acrobatic clearance. And of course, he does have a bit about him as well with the pace and the speed for a player this tall, right? So I'd never worry once you can get your acceleration up to 74, 75. I just find that it just, when I bring the ball forward for the way I play, I just seem to find like I like having mobile center backs no matter which way I'm playing unless it's somebody really slow and they're just there as a defensive juggernaut I like having a lot of options to bring the ball forward so for me I'm going to get that dexterity up a bit I'm going to get the lower body strength up a little bit I'm going to get his aerial strength up a little bit and then it's going to be all about defending and then two into goalkeeper for the jump okay so you've got 90 90 88 and 85 so for me I think that's more than enough if you find that you don't need that much speed you can obviously bring that back a little bit to 70 acceleration um you can leave the speed as normal and if you want to tell you could pump in the rest into that to bring up his defensive capabilities as high as you possibly can into that area there um where you get 82 jump um if you wanted to go that route or else you yeah you can go 82 jump 83 jump whatever you want and then the rest into the physicality so yeah i definitely think of all the players there I would probably be picking with my five star. If you need defensive cover, I would pick a Kanji or Kim. And if you need an attacking option, I would pick Gakpo. There for the five star. Um, that's where I would go with him. Ito's a good four star option. Timber's a good four star option. But yeah, I would probably steer it towards a Kanji. I think that for the stats that he has, um, if you just have one four star and you're looking for a dominant defender like that has everything you could possibly want um he doesn't have unwavering form but other than that he is a monster him or kim are my picks for this nominating contract so that is it for me lads i will talk to you in a bit hope you enjoyed the video sorry for the delay getting it up but we will be back quite soon later on and i'll talk to you then